The following is an excerpt from the audiobook for Exploring Creation with Zoology 2, Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day by Jeannie Fulbright. Defense. If a fish doesn't have the ability to swim fast, it often has some sort of defense. Do you remember what defense is? It's a design God gave animals to protect themselves. Fishes have several defenses. Let's examine a few. Some fishes use camouflage as a defense. When a fish is camouflaged, it looks like the environment in which it dwells, so it's difficult for a predator to see it. A flounder, for example, is flat, depressed, and is often colored to match the sand or dirt on the ocean floor. Rays also have a depressed shape, and they lie on the bottom of the ocean, usually with colors that are mottled, spotted, and freckled, so that they look like the ocean floor. Many fishes have coloration called countershading. This means that the body is light on the bottom and dark on the top. Because of this, when a predator is looking up at the fish swimming above, the predator may not notice the fish as its light belly allows it to blend in with the light streaming down from the surface of the water. If the predator is looking down at the fish swimming below, the fish's darker top allows it to blend in with the dark-colored ocean floor below. Another kind of defense fishes have is advertising. These fishes have sharp quills or poisonous spines. If a predator tries to eat them, the quills or spines will hurt if not kill the predator. Of course, the predator might kill the fish in the process, so quills and spines by themselves don't really protect the fish. What protects the fish is the fact that it advertises or warns the predator about its spines or quills. These fishes advertise by being brightly colored with bold patterns which tell predators to stay away. Notice the lionfish in the picture on page 93. Although it's a slow swimmer, it doesn't have many predators brave enough to eat it because they seem to know it's poisonous. Scientists assume predators know this because of the lionfish's bright colors and bold patterns. The best defense for some fishes is to swim in large groups called schools. Some schools number in the millions. There is safety in numbers. To a predator, a school of fish can look like a big whale heading its direction, causing the predator to run for cover. Also, if a predator attacks a school, there are so many fish that the chance of any one particular fish getting eaten is low. It's also probably harder for a predator to chase a school of fish because when it attacks, the individual fish in the school move in different directions. This probably confuses the predator. Some schooling fishes like anchovies, sardines, and herring swim like a work of art, with all the fish swimming at the same speed in the same direction, moving in faultless unity like a perfectly choreographed dance. They keep the same spacing between each other, swerving, twisting, and even stopping all at once. Although there's no definite leader, schooling fishes stay perfectly together. If a predator swims in the midst, they'll scatter, but they rejoin the school when all signs of danger have passed. Order the Swimming Creatures textbook, notebooking journal, and audiobook at Apologia.com.